All right, uh, let's start off with what the Storm Prediction Center has in store for us. Uh, they, they have us in the slight risk category. This has uh, changed just a slight bit. Uh, you can see now Southeast Connecticut one step lower than that slight category, but the potential exists for some strong storms once again this afternoon, late this afternoon, through this evening and into tonight, particularly here in Connecticut. As you can see, everybody in the yellow has that potential. So we're just going to monitor the skies and you should as well carry the uh, Channel 3 app with you. Uh, you never know when those uh, skies are going to open up and uh, little strong clouds ground lightning, gusty winds and uh, maybe even a little bit of hail expected uh, this evening through tonight as a strong cold front rolls into the area. All right, we just some garden variety scattered shower activity out there this morning. It's a little bit of drizzle. There is fog out there. I'll show you that in some of our eye cams, but nothing particularly heavy at this time. We don't need any more rain. We don't need any more rain for like two months in Hamden to uh, look at this. Eight and a half inches of rain fell in Hamden yesterday. Eight and a half inches. Unbelievable. Trumbull, over seven inches of rain. Lebanon, as we just spoke to the first selectman there, 6.94 inches, almost seven inches of rain in Lebanon. Durham, Wallingford, Wyndham, all coming in over the six inch mark. And we take a look at uh, Moodus, almost six inches of rain there. Really unbelievable amounts of rain. This is just an absolutely wild scenario. So the roads are damp this morning. Slow it down. Please keep your speeds down. Lots of distance between you and that car in front of you. And the visibility is not great either. I wish it were better, but at Bradley, it's a half a mile. I'll show you that eye cam in just a second. Four miles in Groton. Not horrendous out there throughout most of the state, but in inland Connecticut, we do have an extensive amount of fog. So very foggy out there. Lengthy spells of dry weather during the day today. We're not going to see those heavy downpours like we did yesterday until the potential for those strong storms this evening through tonight. And again, they do have that potential to pack a punch. Here's our ICAM in Hartford. You can make things out there, but it is a little bit hazy and a little bit humid. There's our Bradley ICAM. You can hardly make anything out this morning. Normally we can see the plains there. And a little bit of a better visibility in Middletown. Uh, with partly to mostly cloudy skies in Middletown. Looks like a little brightening in the sky there. The temperatures are wild as well. 72 is the normal high for this time of year. We're at 72 right now in Chester, 73 in New Haven. We've surpassed the normal high by one degree in New Haven at 648 in the morning. And temperatures in the inland are in the low to mid 60s. So it's mild and soupy everywhere with that southwesterly flow, three to 10 miles an hour sustained along the shoreline. 12 hour loop shows us that copious amount of rain. It just kept coming down and down and down. It was unbelievable. And as we can see now, we're getting a little bit of a break. We had some rain earlier. This over uh, the Twin Forks of Long Island. That's some pretty heavy rain. It might just try and clip southeast Connecticut, but I think most of this is going to ride to the south and east away from us. So now we're concentrating on the front. You can see it right here, draped through parts of uh, uh, Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, that's going to be moving in our direction about 16 hours from now. So just remember, according to early warning futurecast tomorrow's weather today, we do run that risk. There could be a pop up shower, maybe a thunderstorm at any given time today. But again, I think there will be lengthy spells of dry weather. And then tonight, here comes the front. This is 8, 9, 10 o'clock tonight. It continues to cross across, uh, move across Connecticut with lightning and thunder. And then tomorrow we're in the clear. Once again, Storm Prediction Center has placed Connecticut in the slight risk category for severe weather this evening through tonight. Keep that in mind. Highs today will climb into the upper 70s, low 80s. It's going to be a very mild day, a muggy day, a humid day with temperatures feeling like summer out there. And then your seven day forecast after a much cooler night. Once the storm passes, those temperatures are going to start dropping. Uh, and then tomorrow looks like a much better day. Friday, a chance for some scattered shower activity, nothing too particularly heavy. And then the weekend at this point looks dry. You can get out there and do a little cleanup this weekend after yesterday's incredible amounts of rain.